Well, uh, uh, Jimmy Carter had uh, just been um, elected president, and he uh, gave a big policy uh, address where he talked about the need for a national energy policy. Of course, we're talking about that same issue many, many years later. Uh, but uh, he sent to the Hill five different pieces of legislation uh, dealing with um, energy policy, energy taxes, uh, natural gas issues, uh, power plants, all of these vital elements of, of our national um, uh, infrastructure and progress. And the committee had just become the Energy and Natural Resources Committee. It had previously been the Energy and Interior and Insular Affairs Committee. The Senate had done a reorganization and they fiddled with the jurisdiction of the committees. And the uh, Energy and Natural Resources Committee newly had uh, jurisdiction over natural gas uh, policy legislation. And as a junior staffer, I was assigned to work on uh, the natural gas legislation uh, that was included in President Carver, Carter's uh, national energy policy proposal. Um, and that uh, began an odyssey. Um, I remember very, very well that uh, I, I was a newly minted lawyer. I uh, had graduated from law school at George Washington University and on the committee staff. And uh, we began with hearings and eventually marked up a piece of, uh, of natural gas legislation in the committee. Um, and eventually went to the floor. It was a very, very, very high profile issue because there, we had different regulatory regimes in the producing states and the consuming states. And uh, the then Federal Power Commission was having uh, huge difficulties sort of writing uh, markets and writing uh, policy dealing with natural gas. And it fell to the Hill to put together a proposal to deal with what was really a, a crisis in natural gas legislation. And that became my project. I worked on it for uh, uh, one entire Congress. I remember once realizing that I'd gone 18 months without a day off, and most of those days, Scoop was there. Well, uh, when we began uh, working on the legislation, uh, the um, producing states, Texas, Louisiana, California, et cetera, had um, unregulated uh, prices for natural gas. And the consuming states had regulated prices for natural gas. And if you are an oil and gas producer and you have to choose, am I going to sell my gas in Texas where I get a higher price or am I going to put it into the interstate market? Well, that's an obvious answer. You're going to keep, keep your gas in, in Texas. Um, and so there were natural gas shortages. The most prominent ones were in the middle, in the middle west, Midwest, excuse me. Um, and the the fuel was just not widely available in the markets that were just hungry for it. And so what we had to figure out was how to make both the consuming states happy and the producing states happy. The thing that impressed me about Scoop is just how natural he was as a leader. Now, by then, he'd been in the Senate for a while, uh, but he uh, was a quick study on issues. Um, he, um, unlike today's politics, he believed and practiced bipartisanship. And he gathered just a, a group of senators, members of the committee, and we spent many, many, many hours in Scoop's personal office and in offices around uh, Capitol Hill putting together a, a bipartisan piece of natural gas legislation. Uh, Scoop was there all the time. I remember you went into his office whenever you needed him. Um, he gathered uh, policy experts from around the country. Um, Jim Schlesinger, the late, great Jim Schlesinger, was Secretary of Energy at the time. Um, and he devoted, you know, many, many hours uh, to working on this, as did several other members of the committee. They sat, spent hours in Scoop's personal office putting together a uh, seminal uh, piece of uh, natural gas legislation. To this day, I can remember um, Senator Pete Domenici, for example, a Republican from New Mexico, sitting on the floor in Scoop's office, literally, you know, cross-legged on the floor, uh, 
um, Scoop was in his rocking chair, and they just talked about what, what each of them could live with and uh, how they would uh, how they would approach it. Uh, the bill eventually got out of committee and went to the floor. We had a filibuster. It was a big controversial piece of legislation. Uh, they uh, Scoop worked with the leadership on both sides of the aisle in the Senate uh, on how to break the filibuster. Uh, they set some very important precedents uh, in the process. And I, I remember sitting in the chair. We, we kidded about it at the time with, with the senators had big chairs and staff people had little chairs. Uh, and you see it if you see uh, the Senate on, on C-SPAN. But I sat in a little chair next to Scoop or else in the couches in the back of the Senate uh, for literally hundreds of hours. Bill eventually went to conference, um, and he had the same approach in conference he'd had in the Senate. He was just a determined, um, patient uh, man who worked through what it took to uh, confect a, a new Natural Gas Policy Act for the country. And it's still public law.